Today, we're going to be talking about 20 tips to get 20 kills. Now, I honestly believe that anyone can drop a 20 kill game with just a little bit of execution and understanding of gameplay strategy. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, starting off with your landing spot. Now, I pretty much always land bunker. The most important thing is going to be a buy station, right? So that we can buy our loadout guns, buy our loadout if we have enough cash. Notice we do have one. But I, I specifically chose this game because we don't get off to a great start. Now, with us not getting off to a great start, this is no different than you landing a little bit quieter, right? Landing somewhere like Beach Club or landing somewhere like Port, knowing that you then have to just speed up your pace later on. So that's going to be a big part of what we're focusing on is, hey, we don't get off to a great start, but we're still able to drop 20 kills. Where do we pick up that pace? What does our pacing look like throughout the game? Now, right here, guys, the one thing I want to say is always keep track of your cover. I hear this guy outside that's going to push through this door. Notice how exposed I am, right? I'm in a really bad spot here, and the reality is the TTK is very fast in this game, which means I just gonna die now i don't know why this guy doesn't thirst me this guy's worried about looting up he's kind of messing around he's having some fun and my teammates there to save me thankfully my teammates landed with me um i will always encourage you to start to fight on your own once you get that loadout you should be landing with your teammates now we're gonna go ahead and loot up for a little bit here notice we don't really have good cash we're, we're not really you know on good pace here to get our loadout down but we can loot up bunker we can kind of see if we can you know loot up where all of those crates are at which point we might be able to get that 16k for loadout now as i do that little bit unfortunate right here i just get absolutely smoked by a guy with the grenade launcher nothing that i can do like i said i chose this game because we don't get off to a great start i still don't have any kills right here we're not anywhere close to momentum early with loadout so how do we go about kind of re-engaging this now Flying back in, you know, the one thing that I will say, and this is something you can learn when it comes to the regain, is when you shoot somebody, 99% of the times they get scared and run away, and you can use that little window to make a play. So this guy right here, notice all of these guns down here. This is important for the regain as well. When I shoot this guy with a pistol and he's broken, he just runs away, which buys me a little bit of time here to be able to grab that gun. Now, I don't know what these guns are. I happen to find an M4 and a Lockman sub, so we grab the Lockman and we keep the pressure on, right? I, that guy was broken. We were equal. We were both at a point where I actually had an advantage there. So we keep the pressure on. We're going to reload real quick. We're going to grab the M4 just in case there are more teammates floating around. And we've got plenty of time to get that thirst, right? Even with going and grabbing the M4, that guy still hadn't really self-revived yet. And even if he gets the self off, he's only a bullet. So first kill right there. Let's go ahead. Now we circle back here, right? We got our perk package. We're going to grab a self-revive right here. And, and we're not even close to loadout. I mean, we're maybe a little bit close, but crates are pretty much looted at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and grab guns, right? So I'm going to grab my primary, grab my secondary. And now all of a sudden, when we look at momentum, guys, I don't have lethals and tacticals, which I can keep an eye out for. Something like a Semtex, Smoke, Flash, Stun, Throwing Knife, like any of those things will help. But I do have double time and I do have quick fix. The most important thing is double time, of course, right? That's going to give us a little bit of outplay potential because we can sprint longer. Now, right here, guys, we are clearly getting pushed by another team. As we're getting pushed, I hear one on my right side. This is just a little bit of execution. There is kill number two. And look at what I see. I'm expecting that to be a whole entire team jumping out of that heli. So I'm not even going to try to challenge that. I'm just going to get down. And this is one of the biggest things that we're going to be paying attention to. Sprinting while plating. This is probably the number one way that we outplay enemies. Which is really taking advantage of sprinting while plating. Right here, increased movement speed is going to allow me to get to cover. Now we go ahead and we re-engage. Always remember, guys, there's still people here. So we can re-engage this. We're going to take ladder, something I don't usually do because of the audio cue, but there's a lot of ways to get up here, right? There's a lot of different jump spots. We always want to be thinking about those, trying to be a little bit more unpredictable. We go ahead and we re re-engage, and I do pinch this perfectly with my teammate. There's kill number three. So even though we didn't get off to a good start, and if you are subscribed to me, you know I always talk about this, guys. How to drop a 20-kill game, the pacing that we want. Six kills in the first circle, six kills in the second circle, four kills in the third circle, four kills in end game. It's not going to always be perfect. We're not going to be perfect in this game right here. But that is the pacing that we are ideally looking for. And I tell you that because if you are on a you know four or five, six kills in that first circle, just understand that you're on 20 pace you don't have to do anything special by the way we do actually get loadout down at this point with all the cash and i actually make an interesting play here did you guys notice what i did just there notice that i have uh after we drop loadout here which is going to be 16k i have 
$5,300. So I go ahead and I buy this Vanguard perk package. Now, this Vanguard perk package has double time, bomb squad, resupply, and high alert. My normal perk package is a double time, overkill, resupply, and high alert. So this is arguably better than my loadout, besides the fact that I don't have lethals and tacticals at the moment. Now, what th buying that does is I just spent $3,500 to keep this loadout up right? Because now I don't have to hit this loadout. I feel perfectly fine letting them hit it. I'll, I won't hit it. I'll just leave that up. And that's our regain if we die. Three kills thus far. So we're just short of that 20 pace that we're looking for. You know, we're, we're halfway there, but still 40 something seconds. We're going to be able to get that knock. We can see sniper all. We see loadout backside here. We see some people you can't see behind my camera, but let's go ahead. We are going to fly over. I'm still thinking about these other enemies right here. Notice we have four kills. We got a thirst right there, so there's kill number four. And this is one of the biggest things, guys. Listen for teams shooting. Listen for teams shooting. I hear footsteps. We're going to take that out. And then I hear some teams shooting back behind me. I'm going to turn it up here for you in a second. You hear that? Right? So watch what I do. I go down, and I can just shoot out this window. A little bit of map knowledge there, but that allows me to play this positioning. We are going to assume that this guy... So I'm going to oversell for that thirst a little bit just because I want to get that kill, and I'm expecting him to have self-revive. Five kills thus far, so we're just short of that 20 pace, but that's okay. We just know that we need to pick up an extra kill somewhere, which is very easy to do on a Sheikah. Right here, guys, we're going to scare that guy just a little bit. Buys us time to push over. This is another big thing that I can give you, guys. You should be running high alert. Trust your high alert. When you are getting high alerted, my whole thought process is just to cut that line of sight, right? So when I'm getting high alerted right here, my only job here is to, I get the down, but now I just need to cut that line of sight. As soon as I cut the line of sight, high alert goes away, and I know that he can no longer see me. Watch me shimmy shimmy here, right? During, as I'm kind of pushing up, I know that he can't see me because I'm not getting high alerted. Now I hear one pushing. We're going to reload. We catch a quick glimpse of him right there. So we got to push. I did not reload my Vaznes, so a little bit tough. We're just going to keep this rock between me and him. Now we go ahead and challenge. We hit shots really well there. And now notice that two are further back. Once again, getting high alerted. I know that we're kind of in it right now, right? I've got a team over here. I've got a team over here. So we got to kind of fight our way out of this in this moment. Six kills though, right? So now we got to pick up the pace again. We kind of reset. We're looking for 12 kills by the end of the second. That could be four and eight. That could be eight and four. It could be five and seven, seven and five. 12 kills by the end of the second is going to be the biggest one. That's going to be the one that I want you to shoot for. We're going to go ahead, kind of keep playing around, trying to get my teammates back here. Little bit aggressive play to go challenge being last alive. But I hear them pushing to my right side. Once again, guys, sprinting while plating. We win that. We see enemy number two, who's the same exact skin, kind of jumping up top. So we now, we just get up top and we start sprinting while plating, right? Taking advantage of that, trying to figure out a spot. And then once again, as I said earlier, we go re-engage this. The re-engage is important because I'm going to go ahead. I push into the smoke here. I get the drill charge that way. I'm going to assume he's right around the corner. We anticipate well, and we're able to get both of those. There's eight kills, right? So just that little bit of re-engage, knowing that this guy, guys, the pressure is on them. The pressure is on them, right? So he's full plates. There's a down right there. This guy just got revived. He's like, bare, he's very low health, right? He hasn't had time to fully replate yet. That's why they were throwing the cluster mine down to try to protect themselves. So even though I gave them time to revive, this guy right here that I kill, the second guy, is very low health. That's a pretty easy 1v2 situation right there. Now, it's not easy. The first one wasn't clean, but we kind of reposition a little bit. I'm able to get the knock. We reposition and then we re-engage, knowing that the other one's low health. Eight, uh, eight kills. We got 10 other teams alive. Guys, like I said, if you are looking to get better to Sheikah, make sure you are subscribed down below. I'm a four and a half KD player. That is my whole goal is just to help you improve. Now, we hear shooting on the rooftop. This is a big one right here, guys. Trigger patience. I want you to remember, and we're going to see this a little bit later on. Just because you see an enemy doesn't mean that they see you. Whoa, Joe, that's so obvious. How many of you shoot right here? How many of you shoot? Notice there's two enemies. I have my Vaznev out. Not exactly what I want. So I'm going to play this a little bit patient. I'm going to switch, right? Because the Lockman sub is a better, or the Lockman 556 is a better option. Now, I get caught with my Lockman 556 not reloaded. So I've got to reload. I noticed that the other one was down. And once again, just because they, just because you see them doesn't mean that they see you unless they have high alert. But you'll know if they have high alert. They'll immediately turn around and kind of look at you. 
So it'll be pretty obvious if they have high alert or not. Now, notice there's a bunch of people across. So that's a big one. We're going to see that a little bit later on as well. Just because you see an enemy does not mean that they see you. Now, loadout is going to disappear here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to... I probably should have switched back to the one with Bomb Squad. I probably should have grabbed that perk package back up. But now at this point, guys, I do have lethals and tacticals. I do have smokes, which alongside of sprinting while plating is another... Probably... I, I go back and forth about which is bigger outplay. Sprinting while plating or smokes kind of doing them together, throwing a smoke, and then sprinting while plating is going to be the obviously the best way to outplay. Now, right here, guys, just a little bit of audio again. I hear somebody get into the helicopter. So I'm going to go ahead and push this way. We're pushing towards zone. We're playing positioning. Up until this point, haven't really played a ton of position yet besides the one at double hotels or double apartments where I dropped down into the window and I was able to hold that one guy out of circle. That's been probably the only positioning that we're playing. But right here, we're just going to play our high ground. Now, notice that I don't have an angle to shoot the heli. A lot of you guys either jump down here or you play this really weird. I'm just going to reposition here. Notice that I reposition. Now, all of a sudden, I do have a good angle. I've got a good range here with the Lockman 556. Five, I'm able to fry one guy off of the side. And then I, now I do have to be careful. I do have self revive, but we are going to get that thirst right there. I don't know what the ping is to my right side because that ends up not being somebody. And now we're going to go ahead and refocus on the guy that just flew in, right? Let's go ahead and work back this way here, knowing that those guys are pushing up top there. That roof push is a... That building just sucks. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, guys. That building sucks to push. Whether it's the roof, whether it's the second... The, the one right below the roof, like that building is just awful. Now, once again, you're going to see positioning here, guys. We're going to just play our high ground. Obviously, high ground is very important. The most important thing is going to be your cover, right? Making sure you have somewhere to go if you need to reload, replate. Make sure that you have a safe spot to do that. Now, we're going to fry this guy right here out of the sky. You got to execute, like I said, if you want to drop 20. A little bit of gameplay strategy here, holding this guy out of circle. We're going to hold that guy out as well. Actually, he's going to get in the water. And we need to just get thirst. My teammates are playing really well with me, kind of helping me out a little bit. We're at 11, by the way. So, once again, there's kill number 11. There is kill number 12. And just in this moment, now we're looking... Third circle has started. Now we're looking to get to that 16 mark. So we're pretty close to the perfect 20 bomb pace that I talk about. We, we're four short here. We're four short, and third circle is pretty long. So I know that uh, I'm in a good spot here, and I'm on pace. I just got to keep making good decisions, right? Notice I haven't put myself in too many bad situations as of late. I was in a few, in a few tough situations early, but, you know, just kind of playing smart here, playing a little bit of positioning. When we play positioning in Warzone 2, guys, it's low risk, high reward, right? It's low risk because we could just play our cover. We can play our high ground. We just got to hit shots and it's high reward because it's pretty easy to get kills at that point. Now, we don't know where anybody is. We do have a pretty far circle rotation here, so we do have to kind of play this a little bit smart. Trying to figure out where some people are, not 100% sure. Pace is slowing down. I hear some shooting over to the right side, so we're going to go ahead and act over this way. Let's go see what we can find here. There's one right here. Now, pretty big tip in this moment, guys. This is a pretty big one. When we talk about uh, when we talk about challenging people, right, it's all about trying to get a clean first kill. Now, I see this guy right here. There's enemy number one. Looks like a, a darker skin, maybe a new skin, maybe something like that. And then we have the Toronto Ultra or some sweaty skin right in front of me, right? And I don't get a good jump on this guy right here. He has the advantage currently. There's another enemy close by. So I'm going to disengage this, okay? Like, I'm not going to fight this. I'm going to use my smokes here. They can't live ping me. I'm going to double smoke. I'm going to disengage. But watch how I re-engage this. A lot of you just kind of leave this fight or maybe you don't even disengage. You try to fight that guy. I'm going to grab the two-plate vest real quick. And now we're going to go ahead and try to see what I can find. Come on, please. Can we please grab the Vaznev? Yeah, let's go. Look at the head glitch right here, guys. Look at my cover, right? Cover first. I'm expecting these guys to be in that building. Now we're just trying to see what we can find. We're going to go ahead and work our way up top. I did get high alerted. Now, notice that I disengaged that, but it's because I wasn't in a good position. I still know that they're over here and I'm going to act on info. It's just a matter of where. Trying to find a good position. This guy ends up being right in front of me. We're, we are going to hit shots really well there. Can't quite get the thirst. So we're going to end up dropping down here after we tag that guy up a bunch, right? I don't know if he has self-revive. Teammates are obviously playing well with me. You know, I, I am carrying a little bit. We got 13 kills. Notice our pace has slowed down just a touch, but we're chasing three here. We're chasing three in the next 40 seconds. Remember what I told you earlier? Just because you see an enemy doesn't mean they see you. This is a great example here, right? Just really easy to fry that guy. He has no idea that I'm here. Obviously didn't have high alert on. So I am going to go ahead and be able to easily get that kill. Other one is back behind. Look at the mini map to our left side here. Minimap to our left side, so we're going to go play based on that information here in a second. And my teammate's actually going to get fried, but this guy just gets absolutely deleted by the Vaznev. Easily one of my favorite SMGs. We'll obviously what we'll see what is meta come season four in about 10 days or so. 
Now, we've got 15 kills, so we're just one shy here of 20 bomb. But the biggest thing with the Shiki guys is because of the way the end games play, because we don't get minimap pings after respawn disables. So right now, if I get a kill here, I no longer get minimap pings. So we start to play this a little bit more like a BR. Notice how we're going to pinwheel this in, right? We're going to clear out in front of us. If you don't know what pinwheeling is, basically means, you know, in this situation, I am going to play on the edge of gas just because he, I saw him doesn't mean he saw me. So we're going to go ahead and work up here. We're just going to keep clearing in front of us and try to get to a better spot now you're going to see positioning again here guys just really good positioning throughout this we're still challenging on the edge i gotta make this play right here i gotta find a way to get this down because he's on a nasty head glitch right there if we finally get the down right there now i gotta be careful because i still think about the fact that there might be other people around this way right not 100 percent sure where being really careful right here as i'm pushing up really good live ping by my teammate i'm actually gonna leave this as a big tip right here you know live pinging enemies guys is a huge advantage number one very clear communication i don't have comms with my randoms i don't trust randoms with audio especially being a streamer so i just don't have audio but this is a great form of communication i clearly know where this guy is Number two, it allows me to see exactly where this guy is pushing to. So even if it's not your teammate live pinging, maybe it's you live pinging somebody and you can track them through walls because you know exactly where they are pushing to, right? I can see that this guy's still moving. I see that he pushes over this way to the left side. Trust your high alert. Trust the fact that I got to break that line of sight. Still trying to see where exactly this guy is. Then we're going to go ahead and smoke and reposition, right? Now, once again, we've got this range here. Right? We're going to grab Durable there. That's going to come in clutch here in a little bit. Actually, I don't think we play Durable at all. But I know there's a bunch of people over here. Look at my positioning right here, guys. Just like in a great spot to third party. Now, in this situation, four other teams left. We got 17. We're really, you know, this is where we talk about four in the end game. I picked up two right there. So now we're chasing that three more. And it's just about finishing it off. There's seven people left. We've got to find a way to get three here. We're going to go ahead and push up. Now, notice that I push slightly ahead of these guys. I am playing my positioning well. Notice that I push slightly ahead there's kill number 18 now instead of just pushing up here notice my cover i can break this line of sight if i need to but furthermore i'm gonna play these these rocks right here there's kill number 19 right there We've got three other enemies, but I only need one at this point, right? We're full strength. Now we just got to clutch up. And by the way, when we talk about information right here, after we get this kill, notice the high alert right there. So I get high alerted from my left side. Just that little piece of information tells me that there is a team back behind. So I got to keep that line of sight broken. We're going to switch to a 2v3 right here in a second. I think we can pick up... I don't know who picks up the kill. Do they pick up the kill? I actually didn't see this guy right here, to be honest with you. There's one literally right in front of me. I know they're over here somewhere. They're shooting over to my right side. So we're in a 3v2 situation right here. I catch a quick glimpse of them right up top. You can see a little bit of movement. So we are going to go ahead and challenge these guys. Try to finish off this game strong here. Pick up our 20. First guy's broken. Take advantage of that. We're going to go ahead and push up right here. Let's go ahead and break that guy get the down we're gonna oversell for the thirst right there so that we can get the 20 knowing that we're in a 3v1 situation now all of a sudden i'm gonna go ahead and push in i do end up going down because i played it over aggressive but my teammate is able to clean it up right there and there is our 20 kill game guys so i hope you found today's video helpful as i always say let's get better today and i will see you tomorrow